Okay, so the performer is kind of like an LFO, but it can be more customized as each cycle can be different. Well, only up to 16 cycles, that is. So what we're looking at right now is a collection of 16 ramped down waveforms, which will be the same as a standard LFO, but here each of these slots can be changed by just clicking and dragging. Let's assign this performer to the filter cutoff. Oh, and one more thing that makes this performer different from the LFO is that it is not bipolar, it's unipolar. As you can see, there's no gray part in the ring around the control. Just like in an LFO, we have two sets of performers here. The X fade sequence morphs between the two. Let's set it just to the top sequence for now. You can see what step you're on by looking at this little rectangle, as every time you play a note, it starts the cycle. I'm just going to change the steps randomly. Now you're not limited to these shapes. Clicking on load curve here will show all the possible curves available. Click once on the curve to select it and click on the sequence area to assign that curve to the step. You can even randomize the curves by clicking here. You can selectively randomize what you want by clicking on this drop down menu. I'll select randomize upper curves so only the upper sequence gets randomized. Let's have a listen. You can see the rectangle now as it goes across the different steps of this performer. If 16 steps is too much, you can even limit it by clicking and dragging inwards here. So now I just have 8 steps. Let's try out this lower sequence. Now the X fade sequence will only work if these little switches are on for each step. So if any step is disabled here, the upper sequence will play. So this can be a nice way to jump back and forth between the two sequences. Though I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Because every step in one sequencer can be assigned to any curve. Now in the same vein, the amp mod will only work if these bottom switches are on. This can be useful as you could set the amp mod all the way down and turn on the amp mod switches for some steps and get this kind of an effect. I'm going to set it back to a full 16 steps. Cool. So the rest of the controls are pretty much the same as the LFO. Let's now check out the stepper, as it's quite similar to the performer. Again, you have 16 steps here which can be set to any value within the range of 1 to 12. One of those rare parts in Massive which has numeric displays. Let's assign this to the pitch of oscillator 1 and set the range to 12 by clicking and dragging upwards. It can be hard to get exact round numbers, but if you hold down Option, the values will snap to whole numbers, so the pitch modulation will be in tune. Thank you. 
So now this stepper acts like a sequencer of sorts. This amp modulation fader is the same. So this is one way of getting rests in a sequence. Glide mod will introduce pitch glide between the successive notes so it won't sound so stepped. Of course again the switches need to be turned on for it to work. And there will be these upper switches. I'll just turn all of them on. So you get that portamento kind of an effect. And if I turn on the switches for some of these, we're back to those stepped values. So that's the stepper. So in terms of modulation, you have four envelopes and four additional modulation devices that can be set to an LFO, a performer, or a stepper. And of course there's the modulation oscillator which we've already looked at before.